In local news, Manitoba RCMP are currently on the lookout for this boxless truck driver. Stop him. Hey fellas. Bailey here at Prairie Pistons. Welcome back guys. We got my truck back in the shop. The main focus for today, we've just been getting this frame ready for paint and everything. Uh, I got my grinder, wire wheels, gonna smooth it down. Just all the rust, the scale, it's just built up over the 15 years. It's gotten rough, so I just want to make it all smooth. Just have a nice level surface before we start anything. So this truck's in 05. That means we're hitting our 15th anniversary here in 2020. And what better way to celebrate than giving our full makeover? So if you get a real good up close look at this, you can see what I mean. It's just all scaled, very pitted. Just like I said, tons of salt here in Manitoba. Even like the top of the fuel pump, look how much rust is on there. Um, a real preventative guy would probably go ahead and change his fuel pump. Well, the box is off, but my truck's got less than 100,000 miles on it. I think the fuel pump's still got lots of life left, so I don't have to feel like spending the money on it. So I think, you know, it's not like it's going anywhere anytime soon, but maybe I'm drinking it by saying it, but for now, I'm just going to leave her. One thing I will be changing, though, are these rear shocks. You can see how rusty they are. They're probably the originals, I imagine. Um, I'm, I'll go ahead and change them after I've done the whole frame. I don't want to want to, there's no point in me putting new shocks in now and then dripping paint all over them and everything. So we're going to just leave them for now. But yeah, I'm not going to try and like clean these up. They're old, they're wore out. Might as well put some new ones. So the main tool I'm going to be using is this Milwaukee grinder. It's got a fresh wire wheel on it there. But you can see the couple spots I did here. Just shined it right up. Just took the scale off and everything. I mean, I don't expect it all to get super shiny, but just as long as it's smooth, at least that's kind of what counts. I also bought this needle scaler. If you guys haven't seen these, they work really good. Um, just for getting in like like tight corners and stuff in here, I won't be able to get my grinder in there. The only thing is, I got it fresh out of the box, go to use it, and for some reason, I don't know why it's not working, it's just, just the air is passing through the exhaust, but it's not pumping the needles out, so I'll have to figure it out. Maybe, hopefully by the end of the video, I'm using it. And the only other thing before we start grinding, I'm gonna be taking the bumper off this thing. I just want a little bit more room to work, and then I can, work on the inside of this too because you can see how rusty the inside of the bumpers i'm gonna probably coat that all too so i'll have to have it off anyways just before we start here i'll give you another good look at this hitch receiver when i did this two years ago i didn't even like smooth it down or anything you can see how it's kind of like a rough right in here but it still holds up great the rust doesn't seem to come through and it just yeah has that very nice shiny finish so if you're into that poor 15 is the way to go anyways let's roll <laughs> time to use that needle scaler I talked about at the start of the video. Using the grinder and the wire wheel for the majority of the work works perfect. Like in the wide open spots, you can just go to town, get out of here. But a needle scaler is really nice in areas like this where you can't quite get it. It won't get it as clean as the rest of the frame, but at least get all like the loose scale and everything off. So you can see I got most of the frame down a pretty good bare metal. I even got under the cab here, got it pretty good. I mean, I didn't go too crazy. Didn't want to push my luck hitting wires or lines or anything. And then I'll use the needle scaler more up front here. So at the start of the video, I said my needle scaler that I got originally, I was having trouble with it, like right out of the box, couldn't get much work with it. So I said piss on it, took it back, and I upgraded and got her big brother. This thing's a freaking beast. Like this is how a needle scaler should work. Like, Essentially it works just like sandblasting, like an area that just pumps the needles in and out against the surface. Like see this loose kind of scale? Like, it's pretty solid stuff, but watch me hit her with this thing. I would definitely recommend wearing some earplugs with this thing though. It's freaking sounds like AK rounds going off when you're hammered against a frame. But other than that, it works freaking good. Literally bust anything you put it up against. So I'm gonna give her on the rest of the frame, get on the inside of the rails, everything, just go to town. 
I'll spare you the time lapse. I'll check in with you when I'm done. And that's a wrap, fellas. This thing works freaking awesome. Literally worth like more than twice as much as that other one, but freaking just worth every penny for sure. Just pick one up if you want one. I got this from Princess Auto in Winnipeg. Probably get one online. It's a Pro Point one. Definitely worth doing. Um, I wouldn't have picked like the wire wheel over one or the other. You definitely need both. Like that wire wheel worked the best and like ripping around in big areas there. I wouldn't want to do like a huge surface area with this thing, but just in those nooks and crannies or where it's really heavy built up scales, it's perfect for that. Got it all ready to go for that 415. Basically, it's all gonna look like this. I got my brake drums done a couple months ago and obviously still look really good. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. The next time you'll be seeing this thing, we'll be getting her back to black. But for today, I'm gonna have to call her a wrap. She's been a long one. My whole Saturday's off the table now. So I'm gonna clean up here, go home, have a shower, and. Probably have a beer. Suggest you guys do the same. Catch you in the next one.